Hello, welcome. So friends, in this video, we are going to learn FBDI import with the callback integration. So as I have already created in, uh, integration related to the FBDI import, so you can go and you can check that videos where I explain each and every point related to the FBDI import. So here you can see we have created two in, uh, integration. The one is for the F, in, FBDI import for the API invoices and second for the callback. So if you will go and check the, the first one, if I will show, show you by, by running that one, you can see here what we are going to do is we are passing the invoice details as a request payload. And when I will run, the same data will be converted to csv file for header and lines and then it will create the api invoices and it will upload that zip file over ucm server with the help of erp cloud adapter so let me open that integration and i will explain you that one and this is the second one is that a callback so here in the callback what i have added is that in callback we are receiving the file reference and in the file reference we have all the import process log messages and everything so i will show you that one also so before that let me open that the you know, uh, import invoice integration for the api invoice import so here you can see in the in the request payload we we are receiving the api invoices details based on the details we are generating the header file header csv file and the line csv file and then once we generated the header and line csv file then after we created properties file in that properties file we map the import program details that the parameters and each every every point and then after we added the zip zip state so that we can zip the properties file and the line and header file together. So once we created zip file, we added ERP cloud adapter. With the help of that ERP cloud adapter, only we are uploading the zip file over UCM server. And then ERP cloud adapter will call the import program, whatever we have mentioned in the zip file. So here, if you will see, I will open that one. And here in the endpoint, only we enable the callback option. So now here you can see in the endpoint, if you will see, we have to select that the import bulk data into Oracle ERP cloud so that whatever zip file we will provide, that zip file will be uploaded over UCM server based on the account we will select here after the import program. And then the same, that zip file. So in the zip file, we have already properties file, right? So in the properties file, we are providing the import program details and the parameters, right? So based on that, it will, once it will load the file over UCM server, extract that and the data will be inserted into interface table, then it will run the import program. That import program will, uh, will load whatever data available in the interface table into the base table and once data move into base table in the transaction will be created for the ap invoices or anything here you can see that select bulk data import process we selected import payables invoices in case of callback remember in case of callback as a endpoint as a trigger endpoint we have to select this for this this program in pro import process only import payables invoices remember so now you can see once you will select that import payables invoices you will get all the details related to the ucm server and the job package name and the definition and everything here you don't need to select anything just you need to select the import process once done you need to go for next and here you can see we have option for enable callback so once you will select this tick then only this integration will auto will auto run the callback integration so whenever that the file will be uploaded or uh, uploaded in oracle sas that oracle sas will trigger the callback integration right it will raise the business event so here now you can see why cannot see callback integration they changes previously they have added option to provide the callback integration sort name but right now they removed so whatever callback integration we will create with this import name all the callback integration will be executed so now you can see all we have done so this integration is going to get data from as a request payload same data it will generate csv file for header csv for line then it will create properties file and then zip file and that zip file will be uploaded over ucm server with the help of erp cloud adapter and now done so once this integration will be completed it will it will uh, run the import program and after the import program once import program completed it will run the callback integration so here you can see this is our callback integration so once I will open the callback integration, you will easily find that the in the callback integration as a trigger point, trigger endpoint, we added ERP cloud adapter. So once you will add that Oracle ERP cloud adapter as a trigger, here you can see you have to select the import program. So whatever import program we added in our FVDI integration. Now here you can see I have given the name to the endpoint and once you will go next you can see in the request we have to select that option the import payable invoices. So before that you can see define the purpose of the trigger we selected as receive callback event upon completion of FVDI bulk import. This is the, the, the point you need to select so that whenever that FVDI bulk import will be completed it will auto trigger this endpoint. 
right based on this endpoint this integration will be activated now you can see the download preferences so we added that pro please provide your preferences for downloading log based on the overall status of erp jobs once done you can see download option always we require to download the zip file or download the callback details all the details in any cases right in case of error in case of success that's why we added always and here you can see the select bulk data import process this is the process import table invoices which we added in our actual integration for the fvdi import that where we added in erp cloud adapter that is import payable invoices so whenever that import payable invoice program will be run in sas this callback integration will be executed here you can see now just need to do anything just done so here you can see this endpoint will return back you the file references this file references will have the zip file and that zip file we can send over ucm send over email send over sftp server even we can read that zip file also so here you can see in the email notification i am passing that zip file here you can see i am passing the file references whatever file references we have file references to email right and this file references you can easily get from the response of this endpoint so now this callback integration will get the file references and the file references will be sent over the email only right so here you the main point what we have to remember while creating the callback integration we need to select the import program whatever import program we have added in the in the actual integration for the fdi import so now once everything is fine you created the uh, integration for fdi import where you created integration for callback now you have to activate both integration so once both integration will be activated then you have to run the integration so here you can see if i run the integration here you can see in body we have the invoices details right so if suppose here i am passing four four as our invoice number so this will be our invoice number so once i will go and i will test what it will do is that this is the description so let me make here that invoice number here right so what it will do it will create invoice with this number and it will load the invoice in SAS application so once click on test this integration will return back the request id here you can see this is the request id of the import program the load interface file program run in the SAS. so here if you will go to the SAS, here you can see we can get the same import program name so here you can see we have load interface program that is the 183 so once this will be completed it will run the import program even if you will see the uh, see the import program here if i will search you can see these two program that the xxfvdi ap invoice import program import program executed first once this will be completed then it will it automatically it's called the callback integration you can see xxfvdi callback ap invoices import the program both program called automate once we submit this program after completion of the program this program calls the calls the callback integration you can see and if you will see here you can see once after the load program completed successfully it's run the import payable invoices this import payable once this import payable invoice completed it's run the report and once the report are completed it's run automatically the callback integration in that callback integration we have the zip file that zip file contain all the details related to the log message of each and every point program so here you can see that load interface program inside the load interface file for import we have two different program one for one for the uh, loading the data and another for you can see that inserting data into the interface table you can see load file for interface and here you can see this is the same request id load interface file for import request id 183 you can find this request id here 183 right and here you can see and after that it's run the import program and if you will go to the log message of that the or you can say report of that import import payables invoices report you can see we provided the invoice number the invoice number created successfully here you can see the invoice number xx invoice 04 underscore 04 we passed here right so so this is the way we can create callback integration and we can we can see the everything here so if you will see in the callback integration whatever import program executed the, all the import program details you will get here only so you can see start callback here once you will click message in the message you can see the details right you can see this is all the details of the import program executed if i will make a copy of that so if i will copy here you can see this is the response of that the erp cloud 
so here you can see this is the response of the, the callback integration you can see summary as success because our import program completed successfully and inside that child job child you can see all the import program executed in the size you can see the first one is the load interface file load interface load file to interface then after load file to interface because the first one is related to the ap invoice header the second for the line and you can see the transfer file and here you can see the load interface file for import and request id is the same and what data we uploaded you can see this is a zip file we uploaded using bulk upload we can find the zip file also here right and here you can see we have import payables program this is the program executed so if you will see the request id is 187 and you can find this request id here you can see this 187 is the request id of the import payable invoices so you can see that import payable invoices one then after you can see we have upload invoice interface error and job output file universal and you can see this is the file reference this is the file reference which we pass over email right so if i will show you the email that email content this is the this file and that file content all the log message of the program all the programs log message so let me show you that here you can see this is the zip file we, we get the email that import invoice callback and here we added the message in the notification hi team please find attach ap invoices import callback file the attached file contain log file for of import import program with csv data files here you can see once i will download this file and right now you can see we don't have extension right here so we will add the zip extension here so once we will add the dot zip file here zip extension here right and once I will open, you can see all the import program log messages available here. You can see here. So this is the import program. This is the first two CSV file, the header and line CSV file we added in the zip file for uploading the bulk upload. And this is the record status for the invoice header and the line. And this is the properties file we added. And this is the log of all the programs. You can see this is the 87, 187 of the our import program name. Right, you can see. Here, this is 187. 187 is our import payable invoices. And here you can see the log as 187. If you will go to through the log message, you can see the details. Here you can see this is the details and the same log message we receive in the callback. So here you can see if we will open this one, you can see this is the same. Right? And then after we have all the details, all these are the log messages of the import program executed there. This executed, you can see this is the 187 is the load interface file for import. You can see 187 here. Once you will open, you can see the log message of that program, right? So now here you can see this is the zip file we uploaded. We created the zip file and we uploaded. So you can see this is the zip file in the FBDI template format for the invoices, right? And this is the line zip file, line CSV file. And in the style, we have two records. That's why it's showing two here. All these things we can get in the callback integration only. Right. And here you can see the properties file we added. In the properties file, we added the import program pa package, the definition, and the parameters, all these things. So this is the complete way from where we can create the integration for the FVDI import and the callback. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any query, you can make a comment on that. So thank you so much again.